So I wanna show you something that's really, really cool. So the gates feature inside of uh, Studio One is phenomenal, right? So I have drum gate, I have a drum gate on the snare, right? So if I solo the snare, you can hear the snare. So the gate is really, really solid, really, really good, right? So if you notice here, there's this thing that says trigger, right? So triggering is actually natively built into uh, Studio One. I don't know if they just added this in. I think they added this in actually in version five, but it's natively built into the gate plugin. So just by activating this, uh, it sends out a note C3 uh, and you can choose the velocity. I can bring the velocity up and down. We're just gonna do 127, right? So it's natively sending out every time a hit is hitting, uh, it is natively sending out that C3. You see it, you see it jumping. You saw the little the little note here jumping. So it's sending out that note. So here on my trigger, on my snare trigger track, here's what's really, really dope. So on here, I just loaded up MIDI impact, have the snare. It says uh trig snare S1, right? All I literally would need to do. Uh, is and I'll unmute my I'll unsolo the snare top uh, just so you can hear just the trigger itself here in where it says in and out under all outputs I go here and I can just go to snare gate because I named it snare gate right I had to name it so I could see it otherwise it's gate one two three four five so I'm gonna go to snare gate right and I'm gonna press play So it's sending that out of the gate. It's reading the transient information, sending it out of the gate into through via MIDI to the snare uh, to the to the trigger track or whatever, and it's triggering it or whatever. So you end up with that nice vibe. You know what I'm saying in there. So that's cool. That's really really cool that you can do that. So you can literally go to the kick track. I can go up here to my kick, and I could literally do the same thing. I could go here to where it says kick gate, and literally have my kick and snare here. So if I take this off, you know what I'm saying. So it's triggering my kick and snare just that easily from the gate. I got nothing for you. That's 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 super dope. That alone is just super dope part of Studio One itself. Uh, and again, like I said, you can do that with any uh, any of those uh, particular gates or what have you. Can send those out. Now, while that is super dope, uh, that is not actually uh, the way that I like or prefer to trigger my snare or trigger my kick, that's cool. And you get some really good results from that. Um, but what I like to do is actually create a triggered track because it allows me to uh, really kind of work with it. Maybe I wanna bounce it to audio. Maybe I want to quantize it, lock it a little bit better. Maybe, I, maybe the trigger is triggering some extra stuff that I don't like and I really want to lock that in. So the second way and my preferable way to do it is using Studio One's quantize feature. So up here, uh, you'll have like all of your different options. There's an option, the Q option, where quantize is, right? And you'll see like all the little notes here and all the different ways. You don't even need this. This is not even important. Now this is important. Go to groove and you'll see these little dots pop up right here, right? So I could literally grab my snare top and drag it up here and drop it in here. Boom. Analyze the transients. You saw all the little markers pop up, right? Then literally just grab this, drag it down here to the trigger track, and boom, now I have I have my snare trigger. <laughs> Just crazy, right? That easy, and I could do the same thing for the kick. So I can go here to the kick, drag it up here, drop it in, and then drag it down here drop it on there and now i have the midi so i can literally just mess around and mess about with all of the midi triggers and line those up if i need to lock them to the grid a little bit better 
or whatever the case may be, I can easily do that because I have access to the MIDI uh, information uh, there that would allow me to, uh, to you know, do some more complex options if I uh, so needed to, all right? So uh, now we got that loaded in. You know what I mean? So I can decide whether or not I want to use the kick trigger, which is a little heavy. I'm going to just uh, bring it down a little bit so it's not as. So it's just transparent. That's the whole purpose of triggers. You want them to be transparent. Uh, you don't want it to be um, super in your face. So and another thing that I would do here with my snare trigger, this is the other reason why it's cool to have it in something like this. So for instance, this is my snare trigger. It feels a little bit deeper to me. I want like a nice little pop on the snare, right? So because I got it in this, you know, sampler plugin, I can easily click here and I can just transpose or pitch up the snare a little bit. I like that a little bit better, just to pitch it up a little bit. You know what I mean? You could do the same thing with the kick. And because that's the thing with triggers and samples, to help them become a little bit more transparent, you want to kind of try to tune them a little bit to make them closer to what the original snare sounds like, so you're not having to uh, do that or what have you. All right, so uh, it's uh, just that's just the thing with that and how those uh, gates and stuff work and the, the, um, the triggers work inside of that. All right, so that is the Studio One template, boys and girls. You can grab this right now uh, on uh, the website. Uh, you can hit that QR code. It will uh, drop you guys straight on the website, and you will be able to uh, see, um, see this particular thing, and you can check out our other um, templates that we got on sale. We have the... Um, Logic for iPad, for all you iPad users, it's on sale uh, for $19.99 and you can get to mixing on your iPad, boys and girls. Uh, then the same for uh, our Pro Tools template is also $49.99. They're all on sale this week. Uh, the Gospel Mixing, the Logic one is for sale. Studio one for one is for sale. So make sure you guys go and support. It helps us keep this thing going. I love doing these. I love teaching. I love training. I love working with you guys. I love pouring out, uh, and this is how we keep the lights on. So I appreciate you guys' uh, support uh, on all of this.